Avoiding a killer disease, drinking this can cut down risk, new study says. There are many killer diseases out there, and some of them are sneaky. A recent study revealed that proper hydration could lower the risk of one killer disease. In the European Heart Journal, researchers at the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute identified one factor that could affect the risk of a killer disease. This is modifiable, which means you have the power to steer its direction. The killer disease in question is heart failure. According to my Cleveland Clinic, heart failure is a long-term condition that gets worse over time. It sounds like your heart stopped, but the condition actually describes that the organ isn't pumping blood optimally. If your heart isn't performing at its best, there's a chance of organ damage and fluid buildup inside your lungs. Statistically, around 6 million Americans have heart failure, and 870,000 people are diagnosed every year. Besides age, medical conditions, and medications, Heart failure is also affected by diet and lifestyle factors. Experts continuously examine what factors can be modified to effectively cut the odds of heart failure. The recent study was focused on sodium levels or salt in the blood. Researchers analyzed the data from the Atherosclerosis Risk and Community Study, where the participants were between 45 and 65 years. They sought the connection between blood sodium and heart failure. The conclusion was sodium levels above 142 mmol per liter could spike the risk of heart failure by 39%. Normal sodium levels are within 135 and 145 mmol per liter. Meanwhile, having blood sodium levels between 142 to 143 mmol per liter were linked to a condition called left ventricular hypertrophy. This is the thickening of the wall of the heart's main pumping chamber. Hydration was an observable factor in the study, and it suggested that being dehydrated throughout middle age could be a big deal later in life. This is because proper hydration could normalize blood sodium levels. When you drink water often, salt becomes diluted and this works with the kidneys to balance electrolytes. This is why drinking plenty of fluids is always present in fighting illnesses, maintaining an ideal weight, and normalizing blood pressure. But you can't abuse this. Drinking too much water will dilute the salt in your blood to dangerous levels, and you don't want that. So, go for 8 glasses per day. This is like the standard but should be adjusted appropriately. An active lifestyle, humidity and hot temperatures, pregnancy and breastfeeding can make you lose more fluids. You'll likely need more than 8 classes for the whole day. Do you drink plenty of water every day? Have you purposely used drinking water as therapy? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.